Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of kooky, crazy kids in love that love reacting to some Dragon Ball Super. Yes, we do. So this is Dragon Ball Super episode number 56. Uh, we have a playlist for this series down below in the description of this video. You'll also find a link to Patreon there. You can get early ad free access. You can see our full watch along reactions that way if you want to, depending on which tier you sign up for. You ready to do this? I am ready. Okay. Right here when I left. Okay, was it just me? Or like, didn't it seem like Vegeta had like a haircut or something like that? He looked like a, like got the sides trimmed or something. He looks slick. Uh, yep. Anyway, I wasn't with seeing Goku it. Black. <laughs> Rose. Trust me, who's there? Okay. I believe you. Okay. Sliced and diced. Alright! Sick, that's my son. This is for everyone you've killed! England! Oh. Murderer, hold your fire. They confuse him for the black. Yeah. What? It's Commander Trunks! <laughs> Can I get your autograph? <laughs> I'd love his autograph too, you know. But you don't see me biting him, do you? <laughs> Can't do that now, it's too embarrassing. Give him an autograph. You really do look almost exactly like Black. And your friend having that mean looking face didn't help matters. <laughs> Allow me to introduce Goku and Vegeta. Explaining any more could take a while. We can only assume they're reinforcements from the past here to defeat Black. <laughs> <laughs> sort of? What's going on? The only other people who knew about the plan to use the time machine were Mom and Mai. And Mai's still alive. <laughs> oh, he's piecing it together. Mm -hmm. Who told you about the time travel plan? It was Mai. Who else would tell us that? <laughs> Yay. Chunks, a future Chunks needs one win. He needs one good thing to go and <laughs> happen in his life. My. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I thought you were dead. I could say the same of you. I didn't know what to do. I almost went out with like ten year old you. This is too much. Oh. Uh, Dummy, you should know I'm harder to kill than that. <laughs> She's like, uh, sentimentality. Mm -hmm. After I came to, I linked up with resistance soldiers mounting a defense. Previous base had already come under attack. We'll be back, back from the past with reinforcements so we can destroy Black. Are you with me? Are you with me? Hell yeah, you're a badass. You bought time for all the refugees to get here. These are the only ones who made it. I should have saved more. I think you did the best you could with what you had, Mai. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you look scary because you look like Goku Black. Maybe don't give her stank face, Charles. Hmm. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Thank you for saving smiles like these. Oh, Trunks. <laughs> We'd be honored if the great Trunks stayed here. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You know you like that kitty thought of a pan. <laughs> Out of my way. I thought he was gonna blast somebody. <laughs> so did I. Oh, damn. Whoa. Look at Vegeta, that little softy. Bulma really came through, huh? <laughs> of course she did. She is my wife after all. <laughs> Chow down like a Saiyan! Like a Saiyan. Huh? <laughs> hey pal, you look familiar. Yeah. Yes, Roby? Wait, Yajirobe? How in the world have you survived all this time? What about you? Ain't you supposed to be dead? Sensu beans, that's how. They attacked the tower. Gorin said, save yourself. And he, he gave me the last sin to be. Hmm. 
Well, for someone who hates getting involved as much as you do, I'm surprised to see you here with the Resistance. Every time there's a fight, he disappears. He only pops his head up when someone puts out food. Hmm. You can't talk about a man in front of his friends that way! I'm not lying! It's been a long time since I've seen them so happy. So are you going to fight him too? Yeah. No, you're coming to observe. I want to crack at him again! It's my turn hmm. and I won't let you take it from me. Wait! <laughs> let's rock, paper, scissors! No. Oh god. No. I'm not playing! Oh, come on, Vegeta, it's fun! <laughs> Dump on it, look. One, two, throw! What? I lost? Please, let me fight Black with you. It's possible this is a fight we cannot win. Build your own future with your girlfriend. Uh, we're just friends. The comrades in arms, really. Uh, yeah. All right, let's throw down. It's heartbreaking to see a world so scarred. But the purge is necessary. It won't be long until this planet's reborn as a utopia. My final judgment is now upon you. Well, if that doesn't get his attention, I don't know what will. He's he. Hmm. This is Super Saiyan Blue, and it's going to bury you in the ground. <laughs> a most brilliant display. A Saiyan body enveloped in divine energy is beautiful, even if it's wrong. You remain nothing more than a mortal being. <laughs> He must have already powered up since Kakarot fought him in our time. That means nothing when faced with Super Saiyan Blue! Whoa, it's pretty spooky to watch somebody who looks exactly like you get his face pounded in like that. <laughs> a mortal being? Doesn't that imply that Black's a god? Is he Samasu? I still can't wrap my head around it all. Jeez. Yep. I sense something. Dust himself off. You okay? Maybe both of you go blue. For a lowly animal, you've come quite far. As a reward, I'll show you how far I've come. Quite the color, huh? I mean, it does look pretty cool, if I'm honest. The name of this one is Rosé. Rosé. Rosé all day. Super Saiyan Rosé. Super Saiyan Rosé. Rosé? He likes Juices. Run. Super Saiyan Rosé. At last, I have not only mastered Goku's powers, I have made them my own. <laughs> I am a culinary god. The vast beauty of my being overwhelms you, for I am a breed apart and divine. He's starting to rub me the wrong way. Hmm. You're supposed to be fighting me. You are the opening act. Now leave the stage. Get out of there! Come on, Vegeta. Yeah, Vegeta. Yeah, whatever I do. Tell me the brother Sansu Bang. Calling you the opening act is a weak metaphor. You're just the appetizer. A light introduction before I commence with the main course. Sansu Bang. Now watch as I consume the main dish and rise to an even greater level of power still. He's going into the fight already at full power. Yeah, he doesn't do that. Goku never goes in full power right away. I am already at a level no mortal can even dream of reaching. You crave a taste of this power, don't you? You may be right. Strong. A tummy, honey, huh? That's enough. 
What? I will not allow you to act on your own any further. <gasps> Is that Samasu? Yeah. I can't be I think your theory's right, babe. Looks like I was wrong about them. Black and Samasu aren't the same guy. Wasn't I supposed to be the one who gets the honor of destroying him? What? Okay, uh, so this was somebody that he trained? Or you think it was some, more something, you know, about my crazy theory? I think it was more aligned with your crazy theory. I don't know. Fucking, ah, uh, Vegeta again. Sensu bean. We need a sensu bean. Did I have sensu beans here, though? Oh, well, they gotta get them. Yeah, I, I don't know how they're gonna fix him, help him. Um, yeah, so... Uh, that's gonna be a problem. Um, I don't know how they get out of this. I don't either. I just know Vegeta can't die again. No, you can't. No, definitely not. So, they got a sensor bean or something. Yeah, um, badass fight. <laughs> this is Super Saiyan Rosé. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a choice. I mean, it is very pretty. It is. It is very pretty. But like, when your ultimate villain, when this like menacing, terrifying villain, I mean, I guess that's that, that's Toriyama for you. Like, he's always got to inject some kind of humor in there. <laughs> but it's just like, I am Super Saiyan Rose. <laughs> like, I just, I just wonder, was he created after like a really bad brunch experience? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> In, in the wake of like a brunch hangover. From oh, yeah, hangover. yeah, yeah. From, from having Rosé, <laughs> like having such a bad hangover and everything like that. You're just like, oh, Rosé is the devil. It's too sweet. It's terrible. It's just like, that is the true evil. That is true evil. It's so easy to drink, but then it gives you the worst hangover. Yep. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that being the reason why I was named uh, Super Saiyan Rosé. Before uh, Zamasu showed up, I was like, oh, Maybe Goku Black is like the other like Elder Kai or Supreme Kai that was teaching Zamasu. And like somehow like Zamasu like changed his way of thinking. Like he's like, oh, you know what? I think Zamasu might be onto something. And like, cause he was wearing the green earring. Uh, and I was like, okay, well, you know, uh, he took away the green earring from Zamasu. So maybe it was just like, yeah, like maybe we're, maybe we're thinking it's, it's, it's wrong. Um, they said the energy is similar to Goku Black from Zamasu. Mm -hmm. Why does he look like Goku? I don't still understand that. Nope, I don't. I don't. That is that is still a big, big mystery. I mean, there is the time travel ring. So is there like, and we know that the green rings are from rifts in the timeline, but the silver ring is from, I believe, the original timeline. So is there like a future evil Goku? No. You got it. He said, what about going in the past? He goes in the past. He grabs baby Goku. Trains him up. To be a dick. Because he's like, this guy's got like, because he knew, knew Goku had that, that power that was able to, to, to beat himself. So he trains Goku uh, steals him from the past, steals baby Goku from the past, and then trains him up to be like his pupil. And um, that's, uh, that's how Goku Black is able to to happen. So he is, this Goku is from an, in, in, uh, even another timeline that uh, Samasu messed with. But I don't know why Goku Black has, a, has the time ring. Yeah, it still feels like he's got to be merged with someone. Yeah! I'm not saying that that's wrong. That's not a bad theory. It's I another just, theory. I don't believe that it's Goku on his own. That theory is sound, and then he's merged with something. There's still another piece. There's another ingredient here still. Because why does he have the Patara earring? Like, and why does he have Samasaur's energy? And why does he have the time ring? And he's not totally Goku, but he knew of Goku. So yeah, there's still still something we're missing. Yep. Um. Really adorable reunion between Trunks and Mai. Yeah. True. Um, and funny how in the wake of that reunion, when they are so wrapped up in gratitude for each other still being alive and for being reunited, 
They still can't admit their feelings for each other. Because when Vegeta or Goku refers to her as Trunks' girlfriend, she and Trunks both turn red and both deny it. But like, like it's come true. on, guys. Fine. At this point, yeah. Um, yeah, and like I, it was very, some good comedy as well as being like, you know, Vegeta has like asshole face and like evil face. <laughs> he just looks like an evil guy. Yep. They brought it up a bunch of different times. Uh, that was funny. Um, and yeah, so some good humor in this episode. This episode had a, had a lot going on for it. It had yeah. humor. It had a great fight. Um, amazing cliffhanger. Yeah. Uh, going on there. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah. We can't wait for the next episode. Agreed. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Dragon Ball Super episode number 56. But just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive. <laughs>